Hello artists, today we're going to create a pop-up room. You'll have a piece of paper. We need to make the short edge down here, touch the short edge at the top, and crease. You want to get them as even as you can. Then on this folded edge, has to be the folded edge, you're going to draw a few lines in pairs. So here's what I mean. I'm going to leave a fingers with a space between the edge of my paper and my first line. And that first line is touching the folded edge. Then I'm going to make a second line that's about the same height. And scoot over. I'm going to make another line. Got fingers with the space. And the second line. And these are the same height. So those go together. These go together. And now I'm going to do two more. And I'm leaving room over here so it's not on the edge of the paper. So I have six lines. These match, these match, and these match. And they're all on the fold. Now I take scissors and I'm going to cut the line. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the moment. So I'm going to take this section that I drew first, my hands behind it, popping it up so it goes the other direction. If you fold the paper, you can carefully crease it so now it sticks out. Same thing with the next section. Pop it up, bring it forward. And crease. Next one. Pop it up. Bring it forward. And crease. So now we have three boxes that are sticking up. Next, I want to transform this into a room. So each of these is going to become some kind of object in the room. So is it a kitchen table? and you have a dishwasher and a trash can. Is it a dresser? And then you have a chair in the bedroom somewhere. Decide what the objects are. But you have to think a little bit when you're drawing because this is the front of the object. This is the top of the object. And if things stick up, this is the back. Let me show you what I mean. Now, I am going to draw a Sharpie so I have newspaper underneath. If you're drawing with a regular Crayola marker, you don't need the newspaper. It's just if you're drawing with a permanent marker. So I'm going to show what I mean about the thing sticking up on this right here. I'm going to make this box into a chair. This is the front of the chair. So I am drawing the inside of the leg and the little bar that you can put your foot on. So front of the chair. Right here, this is the seat, so I can leave that alone. Or if I want to, I can put a line there so it shows up a little better. And then the back of the chair doesn't go here. That's the part you sit on. The back of the chair would be back here. And I'm making the line stop at the seat. So now if I stand this up, we have a little 3D chair to sit on. And for those who really like cutting, if they wanted to, they could cut out the holes in the chair. I'm just going to leave them on mine. Okay, this big object. Well, that's a chair. So, what makes sense to put by a chair? You could have a kitchen table right here. You could have a dresser for a bedroom. I think I'll go with the dresser. So, a dresser needs drawers. Okay, so that's the front of the dresser. For the top of the dresser, you need to think about what objects can be on top of the dresser. Like, it makes sense to have maybe an alarm clock. If you want to make it 3D, you can.